Hello YouTube and welcome to Computer Tycoon, as you can see our Patreon, Steam, Twitter, YouTube version 0.9.1.10 EA Alpha build. Hmm, I don't know what to make, make of this, uh, this main menu. It's very odd, interesting type of main menu. I don't, I'll be honest, the first thing that really gets me is this being all sideways and then the sprites being really blurred out. That that really gets me. It's like it's been stretched. In uh, If the developer's watching this, just make that straight. It really needs to be straight. Uh, but we're going to see what Computer Tycoon's all about. I like this. C colon slash tycoon. Command line interface. The rainbow is obviously Apple right there. Uh, so let's, let's see what goes on. If I press new game with that weird stuff. Uh, player, of course. Company, I tell you what, let's call ourselves. Let's just call ourselves that Andromeda. And the music suddenly just dropped away. Okay, uh, bonus 10% research, 10% production, or 10% on logistics. Let's go for 10% research. Color, blue, sure. Difficulty, normal, yeah, sure. Random events, can't really click that. Random world, what does that mean? Countries will have randomized population, economy, and other data, and also no historical borders for the sake of replayability. Okay. Uh, opponents. Can we switch on and off opponents? I don't know. I... Yes, you can. Okay, so we're go I'm going to switch a few off. We're let's, let's have IBM on. Let's have brutal data off. Let's have big computers on. Let's have data systems off. Let's have Afari solutions on. Let's have Forsha chips off. Let's have massive modules on. Let's have cheap and great off. There we go. So we've got four. So it's, it's just four opponents. Let's have a look at ourselves. How do we select? There we go. So we've got a, a woman who's dressed like a, a, one of those flight attendants. We've got a man who's got a very nice flick to his hair. He looks a bit like a, maybe a railway tycoon. Uh, we've got this man who... I'm sure I've seen this guy on YouTube before. Uh, we've got this man who is... I think he needs a monocle, really. Uh, it's very interesting. Very interesting setup there. Uh, this man looks like Robin Williams in Jumanji. So, I I'm kind of tempted to pick this. What year is this? This guy is very Asian, very... He looks like maybe a, a game developer, actually. You know, a very famous, well-known game developer, maybe. Uh, this guy, I'm not sure what to make of him. He looks like maybe a really, really high-up executive. Um, you know. And this guy, this guy looks like he's interested in making a bunch of money, having a good time, really enjoying his work. And this fellow here, to be honest, this guy probably looks the most professional out of the lot. He looks like a guy who's who's there. He's casual, but he's ready to work. He's he's ready for everything. He's ready for his day. So it's either between him or yeah, I'm going with I'm going with Robin Williams. So you know what? Player name. Robin Williams, because that is really Robin Williams from Jumanji, apart from a different hair color. Uh, can, company name we're going to leave then like that. Let's start the game. Let's see what it is all about. So, um, hopefully, hopefully very good. Loading time's a little bit long, but maybe it's a very, you know, impressive inside. Maybe there's a lot, lot going on. All right. Hi, mate. This is a random, this is a random mode where all of the current post-Soviet, post-Yugoslav, Czechoslovakian, etc. countries exist in the 70s. So... All of you can enjoy your own countries in this mode, not like historical mode, and every country has algorithmically generated population and economic or economic data that increases replayability. Start slowly. Don't build and expand too fast and always have savings or you will go bankrupt after one year having a negative balance. Okay, my recommendation is read the tooltips above the GUI and the question marks. Buy two countries. Build your first site in a poor or average country. Create a new computer model. Fill it with hardware. Start selling. Build a factory and launch the time. 
most of the time, okay? Expand slowly and keep it in mi keeping in mind you can have seven building sites. After that, it's up to you. Good luck, this is an alpha version. It still has many flaws and bugs, so I'm working very hard to improve it. Thanks for your patience and support. All right, let's see what we can do. So, uh, what do we have here? We have Canada, eh? Sorry, eh? Uh, Canada, population of 225 million. Wealth, rich. Dominant company, no opponent. United States of America. That's just really weird. Wealth, poverty. Mexico. Wealth, poverty. No opponent again. Now, preference. What does this preference mean? I don't know. For use the icon above. Ah, there we go. Right. So these people like ease of use a lot. Canadians like ease of use. These are like features. This lot is heavily on features and performance and quality. What does Britain like? Not so much on prestige, not so much on performance, but a lot on features. Interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm not too sure how this all works. There's starting cost. Well, United Kingdom is poverty, so maybe this is where I should start. And besides, I, I can build up. There's no opponents. Everything seems okay. In fact, a lot of places seem poor. Libya's rich. So United Arab Emirates, they should be very rich. Yep, yep, that's that's happened. Rich. Russia, poor. China, poor. India, poor. Sweden, average. Greenland, average. So really, I think we're going to go for... I'm, I'm going to take Canada and the UK. That's where my market's going to be. I'm going to buy in the UK. Starting cost is that. Uh, so we've got 7.5 million. We've got 750 grand is what we're going to spend. Logistics price is 1 LP. So that's uh, something over here. We've got 2 LP. So if I purchase that, and then I'm assuming that's going to be 4 LP. So we need to wait, and we can we can get ourselves more logistics and then buy Canada. I think that's going to be what we're going to do. So now I assume we click. Ah, yes, okay. I don't know what that means. Um, do you wish to establish an industrial site? United Kingdom, upfront cost, monthly cost. Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. So this is our industrial site. Uh, we're paused at the moment. Uh, can I move around? No, I can't. We have offices, factories, labs, marketing, logistics, recreation. Okay, so we can click on... Aha! By clicking, we move to this. And then we can build things up. So here you can... What does that say? Here you can change the view of the site. Oh, ch change the view. Typo. Uh, also, the other two panels react to the chance as well. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's chance for something. There are six sections. You can read more about them by hovering your mouse over the buttons. Mandatory for other buildings. Also gives bonuses per level. Gives you PP. PP is what? This. Production points. Production points. So we have uh, population. We have money in computer tycoon dollars. We have production production power. Um, so if your computer costs 100 production power and you have 1,000, this means you can make 10, 10 computers on a single day. Okay, so a factory is definitely needed. Uh, research power tells you how fast you can invent new technology. Okay. Logistics points is you can get more market more market area big countries need more after spending them you can't get them back and your global market share this year that's fine and obviously i can't move out in and out of anything because we're, this is the only one i've got so this gives us uh the whatever it's called production power production power yes the lab gives us rups so we get rps rich countries are better for labs okay uh, this gives marketing tools per level. Also, building more in other building sites will increase the effect of your tools. So, that's marketing. I don't know what that really is going to do. That's going to give us LP. So, really, it's factory and lab is what we need to focus on just, the, just at the moment. So, we're going to upgrade and build a factory. Like so. We're actually going to build an office as well. And we're going to build a lab. There we go. All right, so we've got that now. Now, if we were to play this, 
There we go. We've we've done something. We've got something. Let's go back to full view. Uh, we're not. We haven't got any production points just yet. But I'm assuming that's because we need to create a computer. So we've got all these screens over here. Oh, we've got the world map. We've got statistics. Uh, so we can have budgets, sales, customers, market share, preferences, singular singularity. Ah, look at this. The technological singularity is the hypothesis that the invention of artificial superintelligence will trigger runway technological growth, resulting in unfathomable changes to the human civilization. The man who reaches it first will have formed the immortality called the digital ascension and involves people dying in the flesh and being uploaded to the computer and remaining conscious. You have to unlock this technology before 2034 and try and survive until that day. Right, uh, I'm 19, apparently. So I am 19 years old in this. Uh, my chance to die in a year is 0.124%. Like an hour, a bodyguard or VIP healthcare. So hang on a minute, I've got to look after myself as well as... Wow, that's... That's interesting. I've never had that come across before. In... Wow, that's really interesting. Market share. Okay, so this will come in handy at some point. I'm, I'm sure of it. Marketing. You have no marketing department, of course. That's our sites, right? That's fair enough. We can get to that. Research. Okay, so we've got new and done. So what's done? New, done. Nothing's done. No, no research is done. We've got new. Oh, no. This All this research is done. And these are all new research. So perhaps we can get on with some research. It's going to cost us some production... Uh, it's going to give us performance now. What, what was it that United Kingdom wanted? They want features and ease of use. So what we're looking for is features and ease of use to start with, and that's that's what we're going to focus on. Um, it's it's interesting that they don't really want performance over in the United Kingdom, but you know whatever. So we've got production costs, which is going to mean it's going to take a certain amount of time. And we've got that right. What about the hardware we've got available right now? How so we add new hardware? That's a little bit glitchy. Maybe because I'm in the world map. How do I go back to my Let's go back here. Let's let's go here. Let's have a look. We've got computers and hardware. So do it. Can I create a new computer? Choose design. Home computer. Uh I can enter a name for it. I can add, ah, no memory, nothing. Right, okay, so I need to develop the hardware before doing that. Right, okay, that, that makes sense. So, we need to develop a CPU, a motherboard, some sort of input device, storage, memory, power, display, an OS, and the GPU. Okay. I have a feeling I don't have those two. Okay. Uh, the brain of your computer, this gives the most to its performance right uh, the industry standard we're currently minus 100% so if we go for the 4040 CPUs see all 4040 chips yep um, and where we've got that now if we were to add passive cooling how much does that change the price not that much but it puts the performance 100% over the industry standard. So we're going to call this the, uh, what should we call this? We're going to call this the 4040 PCL. No, no, the pass, no, the pack, no. Let's just call it the 4040. It's our first processor. So we can create this, right? Yes, we can create this. So maybe we can just create these straight out. Uh, motherboard. Okay, so we can have a, a DIN connector, which is obviously no good. Passive cooling, that's all right. We can have a PROM and... Well, that's not going to add anything. We're supposed to really... We need to crank up the features, don't we? It does make it cost a lot, though. Look at the look at the change in the cost. So, I mean, maybe it's not worth that at the moment. I, I'm just going to try and get one 
potential one out. I don't know. I, I just want to. I, I want to see what happens. I want to. This is early access. This is new to me. I want to see what happens on this. So we've got a power supply. Let's call it the uh, PSU one. Uh, AC, AC DC converter or passive cooling or both. I create both. It's not that good. That doesn't really do much to the. Let's make it five percent more. Let's create that for the the PSU one. It's not really a PSU. It's more like a. It's just a. It's just a battery, a capacitor. We've got some memories over here, right? We can do a uh, dip memories, and passive cooling should give us that huge performance up. Yeah, that's a huge performance increase. And can we? Let's increase the speed just just a little bit. To like maybe twelve percent. Let's do that. Then we'll add some storage. We've got some Winchester technology. Has completed. Something's upgraded. My research queue is empty. My research queue is empty. Okay, hold on, hold on. Stop. Everybody stop. Hold on. Hammer time. Um, what's going on? We have a research queue. Okay. So we, we had this. Yes, we were doing stuff with this, weren't we? Uh, we want... Could we put an EEPROM in? Could add an EEPROM... DRAM, I kind of like that. Uh, tell you what, let's let's add the EEPROM to that. Let's add, but we're after features here, aren't we? So I'm, I'm sure I need to go back here. No, it's not features. It's uh, ease of use. Ease of use is what they're after. Ease of use and okay, that's fine. Go back in here. This is, I mean, it needs, there needs to be a bit more going on here, but it's okay. It's okay. It's early access. I, I forgive the, the early access. We need something that's going to give us ease of use. A keyboard, surely. Yes, a keyboard. Fantastic. So, keyboards. Let's, let's research keyboards. Um, a BIOS would be really good for features. Let's get a BIOS on. CLIs, yes, yes. That should, I was going to say, that has to bring in ease of use. Um, we don't need that at the moment. Oh my god, is that the SCSIs? Oh. I'm going back in time here, I am. Wow. Uh, DRAM is performance, really. RAM for performance. So forget that at the moment. Let's go for a tape drive. So let's have those under research at the moment we've got our hardware let's continue creating our hardware it was storage we were after wasn't it let's uh bring well we don't let's just let's just do just that there we go performance everything is box standard on that uh display some blinking indicator lights yeah just a bog standard one there again and an os just a standard opcode OS. Which actually, you know what? Let's actually add that in. Right up there. Uh, we don't have a GPU. Okay, so now I assume we can now create a computer with all this. I didn't name half these things, but we're going to kill most of them at the end anyway. We're going to just... How do we destroy them? I'm assuming there's a way to destroy those, so... Uh, at least I hope there is. New, so we're going to have a home computer. We're going to call the home computer the uh, Andro Andro One. Yes, let's call it that. Or well, let's actually let's do that. The Andro One. That's what the computer is going to be called. We're going to add some memory. Add to computer. We're going to add a central processing unit, one of the 4040s. We don't have an input device, do we? I don't think we do. Um, we don't have that, do we? No, we need, a, we need a PSU or some sort of power supply, which we have this weird battery capacitor. We need a motherboard, which is going to be that one. And we need an operating system, which is the OS there. Let's put a display up, which was the 
blinking lighty lighty stuff. Um, I thought I renamed that. Yes, I have to Android One. There we go. Uh, let's save that design. Let's create the prototype. The new computer model went into the testing phase. Okay, our new computer model went into the testing phase. Let's see what happens. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to end this episode here. And then in the next episode, we'll see what happens when we sell this off. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on uh, Computer Tycoon. I'm going to do a few others just to see what it's like. Hopefully I don't go bankrupt in that time. Uh, leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think and any tips you have if you pick this up. There is a lot of work to be done on the title from my first impressions. I think there is definitely a lot of work to be done, but it does hold some promise. So... You never know. You definitely never know. And I'm going to see what I can do on this for a few episodes. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. I will see you guys in the next episode.